Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here, coming at you with a mail video and a couple days worth of local card store pickups. It's been a few weeks since I made my last video, so starting off with this one, I get this on eBay, T206 Owen Wilson for the Pirates, VG3.5. It's a sweet cap caporal cigarette pack. 350 subjects. Next, I went ahead and got another T206 this month. Uh, I was doing just, you know, one a month, but I did pick one up at a card show uh, that I showed you in my last video, and I put in a, a bid for this one, and I just happened to win it. This is Billy Portel. Two and a half off center, top to bottom, but it was a decent price. Nice color. So I just threw a bit in. I was the only one that bit on it, so I won. That's Piedmont back. So that's that. Next, my uh, 1952 high number for the month, Glenn Nelson for the Dodgers. That's card number 390. I get this in a uh, VG3. So we're keeping up with uh, the consistency there of picking up a high number and a tobacco card every month. Um, and working on different uh, sets as well. So it's uh, so a local card store pickup. I got a League Leaders card, 1967, for my set. Uh, an LK line off of eBay. VG, little corner nick there. And another League Leader. And I think I'm down to needing uh, about 20 five more now 25 or 26 more so chipping away at that set uh next i got three 1949 bowmans got an eddie brockman for the pirates got a walt masterson for the senators and a carl ferrello for the brooklyn Dodgers. So, <clears throat> keeping up with my goal, I think I need about 10 more to reach my goal of cutting my 49s down from 77 down to uh, like 30, 39. Forget, I don't remember now. Anyways, chipping away at that. Uh, here was that 1956 Tops football checklist. This is about the the best one I could find for now. If I can find a better one at the Nationals or something, I might uh, replace this. But uh, they're not easy to find, and they they are not cheap. Uh, this one looks like it was marked before. You can see the crease there. Not all my cards for this set are perfect. I don't know if I'll go back and replace any or not. We'll have to see. But for now, that was good enough for me. Uh, next up, 1956 Tops Baseball Whitey Ford. This takes me down to needing the Ted Williams and the two checklists to finish off this set. So pick this up online. Just did a buy it now. I was pretty happy with that. And today at my local card store, I picked up about a dozen or so replacement 1961 cards for my set. Uh, I've got a list going of ones I want to replace, and these are some of them. Mainly just commons with the exception of the early win, but they're all nice sharp corners and centered nicely um, pretty sure these are going to be better than the ones i have 
not, <clears throat> and I'll just put their name back on the list and go from there. Uh, paid up for these because they were really nice shape. Don't have a problem doing that at all. Uh, when I'm building a higher grade set, you know, you pay the price for, you know, nicer stuff. So, and I said that in the past, I don't have issues with that. Let me show you the back of this one. So, that's basically what's been going on with me. Haven't been making a whole lot of videos, been kind of busy with other things. So, try to get back into the swing of things. I do want to do a, uh, <clears throat> a video of my 1956 top football set here, maybe this weekend. Uh, but that's all I've got for now. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.